So, it's me, your little boy, Ricky Samson. I have something special for us today. You know, they never believe in karma. They never expect karma. And they never hope that karma will visit them one day. They were so glad in doing good. They feel joy in doing evil. They feel so what? So content. Majority of people who have wronged you, many of them never have that touch that karma will one day visit them. That karma will one day pay them visit. But believe me, with what is happening around them, with what they are going through, with what they are passing through right now, for the sake of the evil that they have did, many of them have finally come to understand that karma have no brother, no sister, no relative. Karma don't care about where you come from. Karma don't care about how rich you are. Karma don't care about who you are. Karma is only after judgment. And what, what frustrates them the most is that they can't influence karma to stop giving them judgment. They can influence others to hate you. They can influence others to join them and talk bad of you and, what, and, and gossip you, hate you. But what hurt them the most is that they can't influence karma to join them and hate you. They can't influence karma or bribe karma. You know, what I love the most is that no matter how rich people on earth may be, or they may become, or they are, they can't do or bribe karma. The same way they can't bribe God, the same way they can't influence God to stop blessing you, that is the same way they can't influence karma to stop giving judgment. All they thought was that doing, betraying others, doing evil is what is absolutely good. They feel great in doing evil. They feel what nice in doing evil. They feel what joy in doing evil. But what really frustrates them the most is that karma have automatically visited them. Karma is automatically giving them what they never pray for. Karma is automatically what giving them what they never seek for. Because many of them never expect to have karma in their life. Majority of people out there never pray one day to have record or to have signature or to have something to do with karma. All their prayer every moment, all their prayer every day is just to do, to be doing good, to be frustrating others. But they forget the fact that the word of God said in the book of Psalm that what to those who are betrayers, who are not yet betrayed, what to those who are what destroyers, who have not yet been destroyed. So listen to me, the Bible said, the, the, the moment they quit with destroying, betraying, they will do what they will be destroyed and be betrayed. So people who thought that betraying you is the best thing to do, believe me, karma have also start with betraying them. In terms of karma have start started giving them judgment because that is not what they have been waiting for. That is not what they have been praying for. Their thought and their word, their aim was to be doing good, frustrating others, putting others in what in pain, why celebrating behind them, putting others in what in in, in something that to do or that cost them a lot. Why behind them they will be what rejoicing. But automatically, let me tell you something, choosing. They are humiliated, they are embarrassed, they are frustrated because nothing is absolutely working for them the way they expected. Nothing is absolutely performing for them the way they hoped for. 
so majority of people out there are wounded they feel bad they feel frustrated because karma have finally come to visit them which they never never pray for which they never never expect so karma have finally visit your enemy and that is why many of them are humiliated and devastated. Run and blessed.